everybody in a spiritual path has these expectations or goals or whatever the, the um, case may be in any tradition. Any, all the, the advanced spiritual traditions talk about these advanced states that if you work hard enough, that if you stay diligently on the path, that if you practice your practices regularly and uh, with a lot of enthusiasm, that you will get to a place where it all makes sense, that you will understand everything that uh, the, the path has been, has been talking about and that will make your life a much fuller, richer life and somehow it'll make the whole thing, the whole trip worthwhile. I too am that way. I had all of these expectations of my evolution into my fulfillment, into becoming a man of knowledge, a, an advanced shaman, healer, practitioner of, of spirituality, a mystic. And so I had a, a timetable based on what I had read, the literature, how other people had, uh, had advanced and, and gotten to their point of enlightenment or understanding or whatever you want to call it or fulfillment. So I had a timetable based on that. I was sure that I would probably be reaching this advanced state of enlightenment in my late 50s or in, in my 60s, just like everybody else in the tradition. I didn't know. And even, and even though I was aware of psychotropics and their, and, their, and their ability to help in the process, I understood that there were, there were useful tools in the process, and in fact, in some cases, were actually part of the process. I did not know or did not conceive of the possibility that there would be this substance, this one substance that could do quantum leap on the whole process, that somehow this one item could short circuit a large amount of time and and leap and leap you forward however in retrospect though i understand this is possible you got to remember that i am really 1058 years old i'm not just 58 years old somebody added or somehow a thousand years of experience was added to my life and whether it was done in a short period of time or how it was done, whatever, it, it is physically there. And, our, and many will argue that it's not a real thing or it's not a, it, but it, in terms of my life experience, it is real. I am at least a thousand years older than I appear to be. So I gained the benefit of a thousand years of spiritual experience, which now jettisoned me ahead of my timetable in terms of my physical aging a, magn a, a, a magnitude. So I reached a level of understanding of the spiritual workings of the universe at, a, at an age that uh, I was still supposed to be only an, an intermediate, uh, an intermediate uh, person, an intermediate uh, master. So now I'm, I, I, I leap forward. I, I'm fully fully understanding of the course and and so it's been an interesting it's been interesting to try and move forward from this point forward because almost now what do I do I'm off the I'm off the schedule so it's it's a it's a very it's another it's another little wrinkle in the in the in the process of having been uh, accelerated because you say, well, how does the, how does this DMT experience affect your life? Well, it it did wrinkle the fabric somewhat. I, I'm having to make some adjustments, and and that's still another adjustment that I have to make.